Hi folks, my name's Jules and welcome to TechMaster Assist. I'm going to show you today how to remove malware, that's spyware or viruses, anything like that, from a Windows computer without using Windows. So many demos show you how to use Windows in safe mode, but what do you do if Windows is unusable due to viruses? Well, some, some won't even start in safe mode. What do you do? Well, this is what you can do. Using a, and here's your checklist, a fully working computer, a broadband connection, CD burning software and a blank CD, you can download a system which is completely free to home users, to non-corporate home users. You can boot from a CD into an environment where it will download a system and complete set of fully verified virus patterns and then it will scan your system and remove any viruses from your system without using Windows and this is what you do using your working computer you go to this website it's the F-Secure website a very trustworthy company that provides you with a tool called a rescue CD image. You go to this URL, I will include it in the details below the video. You scroll down to the download section and click on the rescue CD. You then download that image and save it to your hard drive. I've already done that myself. And for demonstration purposes, what I'm going to show you is what it looks like on a virtual system. So I'll just start up that virtual system. And what this will enable me to do is show you what it looks like. There you go. This is what you will see. A rescue CD by F-Secure. Start the boot process. And what this will do is take you into, a, into an environment where you will see exactly what to do. It will take you through every process. And once that environment is started, and you'll see that very shortly, we'll go through it. What it will do is it will download a version of Linux. Don't worry if you don't know what Linux is or you're frightened of Linux. It's completely automatic. And then it will download virus patterns, the latest virus patterns, which it will use to scan your system. Here we are. Have a read of this. It's quite important. Read the details of what it does, and especially the warning that if there is a system, a Windows system files it fi that it finds infected, it will rename it. So when you come to boot up, when you try to come to boot up the machine, it may not boot up properly, but at least you're in a situation where you can actually replace that file from your system CD. Because at the end of this, there is a report telling you exactly what it's done. So it's best to have a pen and paper handy to make a note of what files, if any, have been changed or renamed. So here you go. Have a read of this. It tells you exactly what to do tells you if you need to specify any proxy settings for your broadband connection you'd, you'd specify that below here. You would do that there. But otherwise, like most people, you connect directly to the internet. So you just start your scan immediately. So click, press enter. And what this does, it checks your broadband connection, establishes that it's there, then starts downloading a version of Linux called Hydra Linux. Now that doesn't take too long, but what follows does take a lot longer, and that's the latest virus patterns. So once that's all up and running, you'll be able to see what it does. Now, this will take quite a long time, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video here, and then come back when this is nearly finished. Hi folks, welcome back. As you can see, we're nearly finished here and as soon as this hits 99% <coughs> the process will begin 
and what it will do it will start to verify what it's downloaded and it will take a little while it won't take too long and once it's done that it will take you into the environment where it will actually start the scan process but what it will let you do is select the drive that you want to do the scanning on so uh, just bear with me a little while. I might go quiet for a while. Here it goes. Waiting for download to complete. We'll just verify the details once it's done that. It's taking longer than normal. There we go. There we're just rechecking. Occasionally the screen will go completely blank. Don't worry, it is it is actually doing something. And um, any moment now you'll get to the uh, point where you can progress it's probably a little slow because I am actually in a um, in a virtual environment here we go these are the terms and conditions I suggest you have a read of them just make sure you're okay with them and that you accept them and then you press enter for next and I agree. Here you go. This is the area where you get to select the drive where you've got the problem. <coughs> if this is the drive where you've got the problem, you, pr you navigate to it like that, press the space bar to select it, and then hit enter to start scanning. I'm not going to do that because I know this is a virtual drive and it won't work properly in this virtual environment. So once you've done that, oh, by the way, just make sure you don't uncheck the master boot record scan because that's an important component to scan and then once you're happy with that the drive you've got selected hit enter and the scan process will begin and you should get a there you go progress screen and in your normal environment there'll be hundreds of thousands of files here and it will you'll get a progress a scan progress here bar that will go up and down and uh, this can take an hour two hours three hours possibly so it's best to just leave it to it because it will do it all automatically any problem files it will rename them or remove them and um, once that's complete as this is done 100% complete. You can press enter. It will tell you tell you um, what malware was found, how many. You press enter, and it will give you a summary of exactly what it did. Uh, best to have a pen and paper handy because you need to make a note of any important files that it's removed or, or renamed. Because if it's a if it is a Windows system file that it's that it's actually renamed you'll need to obtain the, an original copy of that from your installation CD and put that back onto this machine. And that's basically it. Hope you find it useful. Any comments please leave them below and please do like this video. And uh, there you have it. You can just hit enter at this point to restart your computer or you can just power off up to you and there you go so I'll see you in the next video and uh, thanks for watching